A live sea cucumber is at least 90% water. As much of that water as possible needs to be removed immediately after gutting in order to preserve the product. Salting is one method, boiling is another. Boiling and salting can also be combined. Boiling time varies depending upon the size of the animals. Large ones require 25 to 30 minutes, smaller ones 15 minutes. You know it's cooked if it bounces like a rubber ball. Salting alone takes longer, up to six days. The advantage of boiling is that you don't use as much salt. Some points to remember when salting. Don't use fine salt, which can damage the skin of the product. Use only rough or coarse salt. Don't be afraid to use lots of salt. A minimum of 250 grams per kilo of sea cucumber. Remember that you can dry and reuse a lot of the salt afterwards. Prepare different containers for different species. Pour a thick layer of salt, at least 20 millimeters, in the bottom of each container before the animals go in. For teat fish, use your fingers to fill each gutted animal with salt. Lay the gutted animals down on the salt in the container, filling the base, but leaving a small gap between each animal. Then cover with a thick layer of salt. Repeat until the container is full. It's crucial to drain the water from the containers each day and add more salt. The water contains pathogens and bacteria which will cause the product to rot if left for more than a day or two. This is particularly important in the first few days when most of the water comes out. Store salted product in a chiller if possible. If not, store in the shade. Be sure to repack the product, removing as much water as possible before shipment. That way you avoid leakage. Salt costs money, but a lot of it can be reused. Once the product has left the containers, empty the salt onto drying beds. These can be easily made using timber and shade cloth. Leave the drying beds in the sun until the water has evaporated, then transfer the dry salt into sacks for use next time.